What's up guys, it is Chris back with another news video and today we have exciting news from Longines and the announcement of some new Zulu Time GMTs based on the Spirit Collection. Before I get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. So at the end of last year, I made a video highlighting some of my favorite under the radar releases of 2021. One of those watches was the 40 millimeter version of the titanium no date Longines Spirit Pilots watches, a good looking straightforward watch on a titanium bracelet. Today Longines are back with new Travelers GMTs based on that Spirit collection. The new Zulu Time is a sub collection of six watches within the Spirit lineup of watches and it includes a jumping local hour 12 hour hand. So in other words, a true GMT or what is referred to as a true GMT or a Traveler's GMT. The big news here, however, is the new movement in this watch and it gets a chronometer certified automatic L8444 which is not a Powermatic 80 GMT. However, they are saying this is an in-house movement but technically the caliber is based on a higher end base of the ETA 2893. So essentially what they're doing here is taking an ETA 2893 and they're making upgrades to it. They're giving it a 72 hour power reserve and a local hour jumping hand so that is for obviously traveling so this is a traveler's gmt the other notable feature here is it's getting a bi-directional ceramic bezel allowing the tracking of a third time zone so these are ceramic bezel inserts stainless steel bezels and they are bi-directional uh, there are a few different colors available We'll get back to that in just a second. Currently, the new Zulu Time will be offered in a 42 millimeter case, uh, and that is a stainless steel case, not in titanium yet, with a choice of bracelet or strap. So unfortunately, they are not offering this in 40 millimeters yet. However, I think they will in the future, and they are offering this on a bracelet or a strap. The price on the bracelet version will be $3,050, which is only $100 more than the strap version, which is really not a lot of money. The strap version will cost $2,900, basically $2,950, so it's $100 more. Dial colors available will be black, blue, and gray. The blue dial gets a sunburst effect, very similar to the current Spirit lineup of watches. All three get applied indices. The gray dial gets some gold accents on the dial and the uh, hand, so your uh, indices and hands are in a gold tone. It also gets a green bezel, which looks really good. And then, of course, there is the black dial version. That black dial version is just black uh, with a black bezel. So a very attractive release here from, uh, from Longines and a very uh, popular category, the GMT category. Very popular these days, a lot of brands release watches in this category because a lot of people want GMTs. A lot of people want what is referred to as a traveler's GMT or a true GMT uh, and that's why Swatch is doing this. They're making changes to their movements. Uh, obviously this is not a Powermatic 80 as I mentioned. It is a, a, a new movement that they're actually coming out with. It's a little bit more higher end than the uh, the Powermatic 80. So hopefully this movement actually makes it into other watches not only within the Longines lineup of watches but also uh, the Swatch Group. That would be really great. So the Swatch Group definitely listening to their clients and offering a great looking Traveler's GMT with a great movement. Uh, and as I said, I hope they put this movement into a 40 millimeter titanium case or stainless steel case even uh, within this lineup of Spirit Watches as well, as well as the other brands within the uh, lineup of Swatch Group, which would be awesome as well. Tell me what you guys think about this watch down in the comments below. Again, I am very excited about this release. I think this is a really good looking watch uh, and it's a sub $3,000 release or around $3,000 release, which I think is a really good price as well. Competing head to head with brands like Tudor and their uh, GMT as well, the Black Bay GMT. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, head to head with that watch, which I think is actually a good thing. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. You can click those links and buy anything. It helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.